hey guys welcome to my channel and i hope you're doing good today because i'm about to share with you how to draft a pattern for a camisole with a built-in bra so let's get to it so of course you're going to need a plain pattern paper and i'm going to start by drawing two border lines on the side including the top once i'm done doing so i'm going to mark the first line as the chest line so from there you need to mark from your chest line to the full length which is your hip bone and that is going to be 18 inches which is going to be the length of my camisole then you're going to need your bust round circumference so i'm going to take quarter of a bust round circumference mine is eight inches and i'm going to mark a square of around 8.8 .8 inches then that line, I'm going to mark it as the under bust line. So once I'm done, I'm going to extend that line also to the full length of our camisole. So on that chest line, you want to mark the center point. And also on the side, you also want to mark the center point of the line. And this is to create an armhole. Once we are done with the two points, we need to connect them using a curved line. Now on the side, I'm going to mark on fold, which is going to be the center front line. And then I'm going to mark or drop my neckline by 1.5 inch. Then I'm going to connect it to that chest point line. Now, this is where you can end drafting your pattern, but then if you want it to have a little bit of a flare on the full length of your camisole, you can just add or go out by one and a half inch and then you connect it all the way to the armhole. So right there, you want to go ahead now and add uh, your seam allowance could be 0 0.5. I'm going to be using a stretch material for this camisole. So uh, I don't really recommend for you to actually add so many or too much seam allowance. Now, once we are done cutting out our camisole, I'm going to separate the upper part, which is going to be the one that is forming a shelf bra. So once I've traced it out, I'm just going to go ahead and add one inch, which is going to form as the elastic casing. So this is how our pattern will look, which is going to be the shelf bra. And now for the back pattern, I'm just going to mark a line on the armhole and I'm just going to fold it in. And when you're cutting out the back piece, you're just going to fold in the upper part. And then once you're done cutting out the back pattern, you're just going to lift the top part and then go ahead and cut it on fabric. So this is all my pieces that I've cut out on my fabric and take note again, I'm using a stretch material. So I want to go ahead and attach the elastic on the inner piece for the shelf bra. And when you do cut out your elastic, make sure it's at least a bit smaller than your under bust, which is I'm going to make the elastic shorter by one and a half inch. So once I'm done, I'm going to take the elastic and sew a zigzag stitch on my machine. Once we are done attaching the elastic, we want to go ahead and fold it in and do another top stitch or rather a top zigzag stitch. Okay guys, so once we are done attaching the elastic on the shelf bra, I'm going to take the front piece of the camisole and join them on the side.
Okay guys, so once we are done attaching the shelf bra, we want to go ahead and attach the back piece to the front. And when you do so, make sure that the front piece is right sides facing with the back piece. Now we're going to pin these two pieces together and then we go ahead onto our sewing machine and sew a straight stitch on the side. And please guys, when you're sewing uh, or using a stretch material, make sure that you use a stretchy needle. So once we're done attaching the side, we want to go ahead, I'm going to use my fold my elastic which is a regular elastic if you want you can use a fold over elastic for this project so i'm going to use a normal elastic and as i sew i am going to be pulling the elastic just enough for it to sit comfortably around my armhole and also at the back so this is how it looks as soon as we are done attaching the elastic and i did use my zigzag stitch so for the neckline, I am going to use the same elastic, but then we are not going to pull the elastic on the neckline. Once we are done doing so, I did go ahead and create some straps using the same fabric. They do stretch and the length of my stra uh, straps are actually 13 inches. So guys, now you want to go ahead and attach your straps onto your camisole and make sure that you sew a straight stitch and reinforce the stitches, guys. And then you want to also do the same thing right at the back, attach it on the inside and go ahead and sew a straight stitch. Then guys, don't forget to hem the bottom of your camisole and I can't wait to show you how this looks on the mannequin. And we are done guys. I really enjoyed making this project and I must say it's very comfortable especially with the built-in bra. I really love it. Yes, there are some changes that I would make which instead of attaching the regular elastic, I would go for fold over elastic because you know I want it to look neat. But other than that guys, I hope you would also try on this project and tell me what you think. As for me, see you on the next one.